Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Chipotle Lime Fish Tacos. Well, it's hot out here guys, so we need something light and refreshing to eat today. That's what we're doing, Chipotle Lime Fish Tacos. This is a recipe I picked up years ago from one of my favorite blogs called Homesick Texan. Great Tex-Mex food on that blog. I've tweaked it over the years, we've used it in classes, it's just entirely too good not to share. So we're gonna start off by making our chipotle lime dressing. And the base of this is three quarters cup of Greek yogurt. This is just a plain Greek yogurt. We're gonna add also a quarter cup of mayonnaise to add a little bit of fat to that. And then we've got our aromatics. We need a couple tablespoons of cilantro. And since this is gonna be blitzed up anyway, we're just gonna use the stems, which already also have a lot of flavor to them. Next, we're gonna do some garlic. Looking for about a tablespoon of minced garlic. This dressing is gonna work as a marinade for our halibut. It's also going to go into the slaw that's going on the taco. And finally, we'll have it as a sauce on top of the taco. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning. We've got the Cattleman's Grill Mexicano. So some great cumin, some paprika in there, some salt, garlic, all good things. Also gonna add a tablespoon of our chili infused oil. Now you could use an olive oil if you like. Uh, this just has a bit more kick of flavor to it and that fat's really gonna carry that flavor. Last, we need a tablespoon of lemon juice. Dang it, that's a lime. <laughs> My bad. All right, so we're just gonna blitz this down. Oh, I almost forgot. We can't have chipotle lime dressing without the chipotle. So we've got a chipotle in adobo sauce here. Just gonna throw that guy in. That'll give us a nice smoky kick to our dressing. Give it a little scrape. Just looking to break everything down and incorporate it all. All right, looks good. Ooh, yeah, smoky, nice little bit of heat to it. Get the tang from the, not the lemon, from the lime. I can't believe I did that twice. <laughs> and then the taco seasoning. I mean, that's what we need for tacos, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get our fish marinating in that dressing we just made. And we're using this halibut today. This is just store-bought frozen halibut. Uh, nothing fancy, you don't have to use halibut. You could use cod, you could use haddock, whatever you've got, a nice white fish. And we're gonna add a quarter cup of our dressing in there just to coat the outside, start to flavor that fish. You can do this in uh, other types of containers as well, but I like the uh, plastic bag because you really kind of can get it around all surfaces and move it around if, as you need to. So we'll just kind of gently massage that around until it's fully coated. And then I like to let this sit for about an hour. We're not trying to make ceviche. We do have a little bit of acid in here that can start to cook the fish. We're really just trying to get the flavor on there. So that fish will go into the fridge and we'll reserve the rest of this for our slaw and for topping the tacos. So while the fish is marinating, we're gonna fire up the grill. We're cooking on the Napoleon P500 today and I've got it set up with the cast iron griddle in place. So we'll be doing all of our cooking on that griddle today. I'm gonna fire these burners underneath here up and we'll go to about medium heat. We're looking to stabilize this at around 400 degrees. So the main components of the slaw are gonna be red cabbage and the broccoli stock. We're actually gonna use this nice thick stock because this is something we can utilize. Uh, a lot of times I think people just wanna eat the florets and maybe don't do something with the stock. So if you're wondering, you definitely can. And the way we're gonna do that today is we're gonna grate it. So your broccoli you can save for another meal. And then this we're gonna run through the box grater. We want about half as much broccoli as we want cabbage, so we're gonna go four ounces, roughly, of the broccoli and eight ounces of red cabbage. So we'll lose this top layer here. And honestly, just half of this half is gonna be enough, so a quarter of a nice big 
head of cabbage. We'll take the core out right here and get rid of that. Break these down a little bit and then go nice and thin. I love the color of this slaw. It's one of the reasons that I like to use a little bit of green and a little bit of red. Yeah, that looks nice. Next, we're gonna get about a half cup of cilantro leaves in there. And these don't have to be super fine, just chopped down. And then we're gonna add that dressing we made earlier, three quarters of a cup. I also wanna drizzle in just about a teaspoon of honey to sweeten things up a little bit. And a tablespoon of lime juice for that extra tang. And we'll get in there and dress it up. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. Man, I love that dressing. It's got just the right amount of heat to it. Such a fresh crunch in there. Could use just a pinch of salt, but otherwise we're pretty good. All right, so we're pulling the halibut out of the marinade now. Just gonna kind of wipe off that excess. A little bit of that flavor on there is good. And actually we're gonna put some of that Mexicano on the surface, so it's a good way to get it to stick. And we're just gonna go light with this, just for the color. We've already got lots of flavor in that marinade. All right, let's head over to the grill. So we're gonna put down just a little bit of that chili oil on the surface of the grill. And then we'll lay our halibut right on top of it. Wow, immediately smells amazing. When that hot griddle hits those spices on the, on the surface, they just burst with aroma. So for now, I'm gonna close up the lid. I want the internal temperature to come up as we're forming that sear on the surface. And then once we get these flipped, we can add our tortillas to the griddle as well. Yeah, we got a good looking sear going on there. Let's flip this over. I just want a little bit more oil down on there. There we go. Check and see where we're at on the internal temperature. So that center is yeah, 135 to 140, which is our finishing temperature. But of course, we want to get the bottom half cooked through. So at this point, we'll leave the door open so that we can make sure that we're just cooking from the bottom side and not all around. All right, so we're going to throw the tortillas down as well. Spread out some oil on the surface. It's probably a little more than we needed. Now we're using these small corn tortillas, these street taco tortillas for our fish taco today. Get just a little bit of brown on our tortillas and then flip them over. First try. All right, so we're gonna keep these pliable. We don't want them crispy. So pull them off and set them on paper towel we can wrap them up in to keep them warm. And we'll just fold those over and keep them warm like that. I'll also take a little bit of that grease off the surface. All right, dead center of the uh, thinner one, 138, 139, 140. That's right the range we're looking for, so we'll pull that guy off. I have a feeling our big one's gonna be a little bit behind though. See how it started to flake on the top of the surface there? So we know this side's cooked, but it's got about 10 degrees to go in the middle. All right, she's coming off. We're ready to make tacos. I'm just gonna slice up a little bit of avocado to go in our tacos. Don't slip on me. Be careful. 
not to go through the rind here, obviously. There we go. And we can kind of just flake this up, it'll fall apart. Still a bit hot. And just distribute these around. We're gonna lay in some avocado here. We hit that fish with a little bit more of that dressing we made earlier. This stuff you could put on just about anything. We were eating it on broccoli in between takes. And then our slaw on top. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of green aid, green chili sauce to mine as well. Dig in. Mmm. Heck yes. It's so dang good. It's just bright, it's fresh, it's delicious. Man, that cream sauce. And you can feel good about it. I mean, it's mostly non-fat yogurt, right? I'm talking about non-fat yogurt sauce. I'm talking about grilled fish, avocado. This is a meal that you feel great about after you've eaten, eaten it and not just while you're eating it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.